Okay, so welcome to my bathroom. Um, this is something that I was looking for on YouTube this weekend and I couldn't find it. So I figured I'd make a quick video just to show you how to do this. And what I have is one of these Moen bathroom faucets. And I've got a couple extra here because we're redoing our main bathroom. But, so I've got two of them. And I'll open up one later to show you. But when I was reading on the internet, all I saw was 7 64ths um, hex screw or Allen key. And that's it. That's the only clue I was given. So as you can see, this works perfectly fine now. But this weekend, it was sort of shooting out the side. And so all I did was quite easy, actually. I took a, a dollar store mirror and put it up like this so that I can see, let's see if I can get it in here, there, you can kind of see the faucet now. Okay, so here I've set up like a dollar store mirror and I sort of use these to shave in the shower with and so what I've done is I've set up a mirror in the sink, let me zoom out, you can see it's set up in the sink so I can see exactly what I'm doing. And then a good idea is to always close the drain. So this is closed so that if anything happens. And then what happened is, if you look under here, I'll do a B-roll, um, you can see that there's a little cut line here and here. So all I did was sort of play around with it and just put a little bit of pressure right there. And this thing comes off. The bottom piece of the tap, let's see if I can pop it back on there quickly with one hand. There, it pops in and then you just go underneath and pop it out. So all you do is pop this underneath and it's back on, it's back on again. So you pop it off like this and then let, let's go back down to the mirror and then you should be able to see the two screws right there, the two hex screws. So right there and right there. So what you do is you just take your 7 64ths and you kind of use the mirror as a guide right there. It's in and actually it unscrews quite easily. So I'll just show you. So there's one screw, one little hex screw. Okay, so just as a review, what you do is you just pop this bottom part off, like that, this little plastic cap, and then you use your mirror in your sink to sort of give you the proper viewing angle. Let me just wipe this down. So you use the mirror to give you the proper looking angle and then you just unscrew and screw in. Very easy. Okay, so what we have here is a brand new one. Um, it's called the Moen Genta. And I'll just show you quickly. It's probably easier to film it this way. Yeah, so here you go. So basically, all you have to do is, you see when it's installed, you can't tell this, that there's a little line here, but you can see that there's a line right here and here. So you can kind of, that's why I figured it out, is I just sort of pried, and then it comes right off. And then you just take your 764 Allen key. and unscrew this and then unscrew this and then clean it out any way you want the way you'd normally clean out an aerator mine I just blow through it and if worse comes to worse I'll soak it in vinegar and then blow through it again that just pops right off so there's your aerator right there and then it just connects back 
to this uh, copper pipe. So you just sort of wiggle that on there, finagle it in there, make it work. There you go. And then just bingo, bango, bongo. And you're set. You got a clean aerator. Good luck.